Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here. Today's anime review, we get to cover an anime series adaptation based on the story by Rudyard Keepling. For today's anime review is The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book is also known in Japan as Jungle Book Shonen Mowgli, but in the United States it goes by the name J The Jungle Book Adventures of Mowgli. Yep, that's just how it goes as well. Particularly, the anime series The Jungle Book has run from October 2nd, 1989 until October 29th, 1990 as well. This encapsulates only 52 episodes on here, and it was aired on two different types of channels. In Italy, it aired was The Jungle Book was aired on Rite 4, but in Japan, it is aired on TV Tokyo as well. And yeah... It was made by the anime, and this anime series was directed by the uh, Fumi, uh, Fumio Kurokawa, who is known for his work on anime such as Around the World with Willy Fog, Story of the Alps, My Antoinette, as well as he's worked on Swiss Family Robinson, which is as well as Fisherman Sanpei. Which is part I think he directed as an episode of of that anime as well, I think. But that's just how it is as well. And yes, this anime series was done by the anime company Nippon Animation, which is known for their work such as Heidi Girl of the Yalps, Maya the Honey Bee, Around the World with Willy Fog, as well as he's worked on Fisherman Sanpei, Future Boy Conan. And also worked on they all they worked on Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics or Grimm Masterpiece Theater, as well as their work. And they also worked on one of my favorite anime series. I believe it was Dog Tanyan and the Three Dog Tanyan and the Three Muskehounds, particularly. So for the story on the Jungle Book, it's it's about an explorer and his wife are killed in the jungle. Their baby son named Mowgli is raised by wolves, which is probably in the setting in the depths of the jungle in India, because he's it's what boys who lost their parents raised by wolves are in the jungles of India, particularly in the story of the Jungle Book. It's what you guessed it. And be friends with Baloo the bear and Bagheera the panther, who teach him, and Ka the python, who teach him the laws of the jungle. Rejected by local humans who see him as a demon or an outsider, because he was raised by wolves in the jungle. Mowgli prefers to dwell in the forest, where he must outwit the evil tiger Shere Khan, eventually after conflict between the humans and the animals. Mowgli, defeat, Mowgli defeats Shere Khan and gets to meet the beautiful human girl he has worshipped from afar for so long, leaving his jungle friends as he returns to the world from which he came. An anime ad is basically story series based is based on the story by Rudyard Keepling because it it is particularly it's just how it is what it is for the anime adaptation of the Jungle Book probably how. It, tells the story of what is about. And yes, there are other characters like Ricky Tiki Tavi, which is another the Indian mongoose from the same st Jungle Book stories by of the same name by Rudyard Keepling, which is probably how it is in the Jungle Book anime adaptation as well. I'm surprised Ricky Tiki Tavi is not even in the 1967 Jung Jungle Book movie from Disney because that's just how it is probably in the same meaning of how it goes probably of how it's how basic that's pretty much how they adapted it from the story by Rudyard Keepling from the 20th century because it's probably just how it is as well because it's basically how it's Presented of how it's remaining by the earlier Disney film from 1967, but it's a lot more, I would say, a lot more different than the Walt Disney version, which ironically, the Walt Disney version of The Jungle Book was probably released in October 18th, 1967, but back to the anime adaptation, this is basically makes more true between the original Mowgli stories from the original Jungle Book 
basically, which is the store, the collection of stories by Rudyard Kipling, which is probably published in eighteen in ninety four, which is probably of how uh, the Jungle Book how it goes, particularly because it's n n never came from Disney, as well as many other adaptations of the Jungle Book how it goes, particularly in these days particularly as well but that's just how it is as well and there are some great action parts he yeah Baloo defends Mowgli from a mugger crocodile though how it how it goes particularly and yeah that's pro and there are some other characters like Akila who is the the leader of the wolf pack I mean near the series almost the end of the series Akula died after he was attacked by a pack of jackals, probably in episode 49 of the Jungle Book. Particularly, it is very emotional, but it has some moments in that episode as well. But you guessed it. There are some other characters beside uh, that. There's Kichi, who is Mowgli's red panda friend. I mean, his parents were killed by the humans. When particularly, that it's probably of how just how it is as well, and there's other characters from the same stories of the original Jungle Book as well, and yeah, that's just how it is particularly of how you know, and Tabiqui, who is the bungling striped hyena, which is in the anime adaptation, because he is you guessed it, Shere Khan's side uh, right sidekick probably. Which is in the villain's category to the satisfactory results as well. Yeah, and the M King Louis and those monkey characters uh, probably in from the original Jungle Book stories. They're not even in the anime adaptation because, ironically, King Louis is only in the Disney version of the Jungle Book. Particularly of many other adaptations of the Jungle Book as well. Well, that's just how it is probably of how you expect as... The of how the Jungle Book goes, particularly in through these days as well. Yeah, in Italy, it was aired on the channel Doro TV Merchandising. And yeah, it was also popular in Hin in India with the Hindi dub, which has the original Hindi theme song, which it goes by the name Jungle Jungle Bat Chali Hai, per which is performed by which is written by a guy named Gulzar which is probably more popular in the Hindi dub of the original Japanese anime adaptation of the Jungle Book that's probably and they used it later on in the 2016 Disney live action adaptation of the Jungle Book probably in the Hindi dub uh, vo voiceover probably but that's just how it is as well, because that's pro pretty. That is pretty much how it goes for the how it goes for for the Jungle Book anime one, because yeah, you guessed it, because they use how many theme songs of how they used like the English ver yeah the English dub of the Jungle Book anime one is dubbed by the Multimedia Group of Canada which is probably the in, only in the English dub version of the original Jungle Book anime and yes this anime was premiered on October 2nd 1989 which is probably around the same time as Dragon Ball Z and Ranma Half and Angel Cop were probably around the same time as well Oh, and Kiki's Delivery Service. Forgot to mention that as well. <coughs> but it's just how it it's just how it is what it is as well, basically. Yeah, Bagheera at the in the end of the final episode of the Jungle Book, um Bagheera leaves the jungle and lives amongst the humans with Mo Mowgli. Yeah, that's how the final episode goes in the Jungle Book as well. But that's just how it is as well. I mean, from I mean, the story is basically suburb. It's nothing like the Disney version, which is basically in a similar Tarzan story in these days of how the Jungle Book has a much more interesting protagonist. I mean, 
this is basically how an excellent story goes. The characters is basically how they're great as well. Yeah, Mowgli has to defeat the tiger Shere Khan, particularly because Shere Khan is a villain in this particular series. The value is as well as... I really find it interesting. I mean, wow, that's probably just how it is, how the values in the anime adaptation of The Jungle Book goes. The adjoinment of this anime, I find this to be a great series to watch if you want to watch this over and over and over again as well. And yeah, that's how it goes. And particularly for overall, I find this, the music, however... I find this to be excellent as well, because that's how the music goes when it's composed in the anime adaptation of The Jungle Book. Because the music, however, it was composed by a Hideo Shimazu in the Japanese ver version of the anime. And however, the overall, I find this anime series basically to be a great outstanding anime movie. Uh, series actually because it's not really a movie but it's basically an anime television series because it only capsulated only 52 episodes because it was adapted from the story by Rudyard Keepling as well and yeah that's basically how they used planes and like in that is used from that and you see in the first episode at the beginning of the first episode of the jungle book before Mowgli and his Mowgli's parents were killed, probably, and it's probably before Mowgli is raised by wolves in the jungle. If you ever watched the original anime adaptation of the Jungle Book, or if you read the original story from Rudyard Keepling, but it's just how it is, probably, of how the story goes in the particular, as was to many other classic anime titles with how it's been adapted from original stories in general out there. That'll basically stand the testimony of their credibility of how the satisfactory as well. And yes, the Jungle Book shown in Mowgli is particularly released on DVD in the United States by Shout Factory, from what I heard, such as the complete collection, which has all 52 episodes on here as well. Yeah, it's been... Because I find this anime series an outstanding anime adaptation based on the story by Rudyard Keepling. So I'm going to give this anime series a 5 out of 5, because I find this anime series to be a masterpiece as well. Because I find this out anime to be an outstanding adaptation from the story, particularly. Because I never knew that this has like 52 episodes. Which is a good thing, though. And yes, you can watch this also on M Mondo Channel on YouTube for the works as well. Or if you can get it on DVD that is released by Shot Factory. So that's going to be it for my anime review on The Jungle Book for today's anime review. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on this. When I first watched this, I think I watched it on DVD that I put on the computer at the library. When I first watched this anime, I really enjoyed it because it's probably a very true and more faithful to the original stories by Rudyard Keepling. It's been a while since I watched this. Because it's probably an outstanding masterpiece, I find, this anime as well. Hope subscribe for content. My anime pilot link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter or Facebook. If you have a Twitter or Facebook account on all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join the channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Smack the like button if you enjoy this anime review on there. If what have you liked about this video? And that's all I got to say. And hit the notifications bell button as well. Keep it otaku for this anime review because this is basically based on the story by Rudyard Keepling. I, it, this is another anime I would rewatch this over and over again as well. And I also got another anime review coming up, so stay tuned for some more anime review that I have coming up. What I got planned for because I got another anime review coming up next for what we have for what's in store for today. Now that I reviewed this anime series, The Jungle Book. Stay tuned for my next anime review. I have another anime series that I have never reviewed before until now for tomorrow's anime review on Is It Ron to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for my next anime review on Is It Ron to Try to Pick Up Girls mm -hmm. in a Dungeon? Because you won't want to miss another anime review.